Maryland. This is on five tips and looking for the perfect place in the state of Maine. Bad feeling about this. But anyways, there's that bear. Got him, no problem. Jeez. As you can see, I'm out scouting today. What you might be surprised at is what I'm scouting for. Now you're gonna hear old background noise. There's a chainsaw running over there up on that hill. Look at some of them shitty deer hunters. Putting in one of them man-made deer runs. Well, we won't we won't go down that bunny rabbit trail today. But anyways. I've been tagged in a video. Now, that's not one of my videos I normally do. But, probably this would be a good time right now to apologize to my mother. So, sorry, Mom. <laughs> but what I am scouting for today from the tag video. Now, if you want to look up the guy that tagged me in this video and send him a little bit of hate mail, well, <laughs> that's okay, too. <laughs> Well, maybe not. Maybe maybe I'll leave him alone. It's kind of funny. Well, <laughs> big state, I know, but we'll keep them short as much as we can. But there's many things to look for when you're looking for that perfect place to take a crap. One, you want to be up on a hill, downwind. You don't want to be near any water source. Yeah, we'll get into all that tomorrow. Alrighty. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, I got rid of him. I guess the hunt will begin. Now tomorrow I'm headed up north. I'll bring you along. I'll bring you along. But I'm looking tomorrow for the for the good stuff. 
Now we, we, we'll creep up on there slow. We want to make sure that that bear, he ain't nowhere to be found. Easy now. He's near. I can still hear him growling. Easy. Anyways, he said, you're going to look down over that waterfall, and he about halfway down, he says, you're going to see a bear den. Big one. You can't miss it. You can't miss it, he says. It's a big one. So anyways, I got this here spot and scope, because I'm going to look down over that waterfall first. I'm going to look through the spot and scope. Because I, I didn't bring my gun today. I forgot it back at home. It was kind of, you know, I had my cup of coffee here this morning. It kind of, you know, it's been three days, it's time, you know, so I kind of get out of the house kind of quick, out of the cabin. But anyways, I got down here and realized I didn't have my gun with me. But you saw, you saw yesterday there, you saw the, you saw we took care of that bear. He, he was no big deal with that 12-gauge shotgun. But I didn't think it was much fun. Kind of quick. Boom! Fun was over. Oh, today I decided I didn't bring my shotgun, but I ain't going back for it. But I got my knife. <laughs> I got my knife. It's a little knife. But knife in the right hands. Heck. I think I'll take that bear down with my knife. See if it's any harder than using that 12 gauge yesterday. Any either, either way, I got to get into that honey hole. I gotta get in there and I gotta get that toilet paper that's in there because you saw yesterday I didn't end up leaving any good toilet paper time we was finished. But anyways, so I'm gonna climb down over. I did, I got down over the falls, make long story short, got down over the falls, I got in there. There was a bear in there. He making all kinds of racket. You'll hear him, he's on the video. I videotaped the whole thing. He growling up a storm, he growling. I hope you people grow out of this. Give me back my hat. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. I hope you people grow out of this. There's a beer back in there. You got my hat. You got my toilet paper. You won't let me have nothing. Anyways, I, I reached in there as far as I did. I got my hands on that paper. But all he let me have is one square. Yeah, one square. What's a, what's a guy like me, my size, going to do with one square toilet paper? Doesn't make any sense at all. I thought he was being kind of selfish myself. So anyways, I get in there and I tussled with him a little bit. I come out, I had the whole roll of toilet paper. And I don't think he'd be bothering the next guy comes along looking for that uh, push and pinch sign. But anyways, so anyways, I'm, I'm headed up uh, north again tomorrow a little further. I, I, I got wind that there's a great spot up there. It's quite a hike, quite a hike. Up another waterfall, but up on the top, supposedly, there's big flat rock. Well, that kind of nice. I like big flat rock, you know. But on that flat rock, I think, I think I'll, I think I'll do all right. We'll see. Big rock. Big rock. I'll either get on it, under it, around it somewhere. 